All right, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to the Path Rage. Today we've got something different for you for FPS Tuesday. We are playing uh, Remnant 2. It just came out on Game Pass. It's technically not an FPS. It's a third-person Souls-like game built on the Unreal 5 engine, and it's absolutely gorgeous. Uh, let me know what you think about this game in the comments below. Let's get into it. Alright folks, we've got something new for you today. Uh, Remnant 2, just one available on Game Pass. We're going to give this a try. Let's get right into it. She says, if I wanted to feel sorry for myself, I'd have stayed with your father. Oh, that is quite a drop. Let me help you down. I've got this. Your life. The sinkhole, your foot. What? You'd be dead if my mom hadn't taught me to dress a wound. <sighs> Fine. Two times then. The sinkhole and just now. <sighs> hey, let me see that. <sighs> Leave it. It's nothing. Hey, I'm fine. Come on, roll up your sleeve and just admit we're friends already. This is not an admission. Now let me see. Uh, it's getting worse. Listen, it ain't broken or bleeding. It'll calm down. It always does. Doesn't look healthy. Let's go. The kid said the ward was this way. All right, there we go. We can move. Now this is apparently a Souls like, you ever hear about the uh, but it's not not as difficult. Fairy tale. Yeah, like this ward. Old white guy founds it. Food and fresh water. Everyone gets along. <laughs> that sounds like the fairy tale to me. It's probably just a couple old timers holed up underground. I just hope they got a few supplies for trade. Otherwise, we won't last much longer. You think people actually live like this? Uh, <laughs> I'm not sure. I don't know what's in that Fulton's original blend, but I never seen nobody that happy before. Not in real life. <laughs> yeah. I'm happy when I have coffee. For those of you who've played Remnant, the first one, I've uh, I've never played Remnant before. I I downloaded this. I've played another character level. Like leveled up uh, another character a little bit and decided, you know what? I, I want to do some recording on this. Two other people this game. Something in here. You always gotta, you know, keep an eye out in games like this for secrets. Oh, hey, stuck out here. <sighs> it's about time. What took you?
What is this? Blood root. Blood root heals you, doesn't it? Hey, look yeah. at this. What happened to these poor bastards? Am I supposed to be saying something here? Can't let it go to waste. Ah. Use it on that bum ankle of yours. Won't help me none. Hey, come on. Let's get some distance between us and the dogs. Hey, over here. Gotta wait for it. Okay, but it doesn't deplete it while there's no enemies oh, this around. Is bad. This is bad with a side of broccoli. A side of what? Nothing. Uh, something my mom used to say. Broccoli is bad. Gross. Take that. Hey, that don't count, by the way. Down here. <sighs> you just know we're gonna get attacked in here. Uh, I'm uh, starting to think looking for this ward wasn't such a good idea. <clears throat> Boss fight. Give me a boss fight. Guess the devil ain't all gone after all. No. Ain't no way the war's real. Not with a nest like this out here. You know, maybe best we head back. We retrace our steps. We can find another way out. Well, I can punch well enough. Saved by something. Not today, assholes. Hey, this is three, by the way. You know, right here makes for three. Oh shit! Not looking good. Good friend. You were a good friend. 
ground is pulsing. We're here to help. Can't hold this forever, Bo! Thanks. Who, who are you? Later. We gotta get moving. On three. Give ammo. Okay. Two. Three. I want magic powers. Can I have magic powers? Still got each other. <laughs> right. Follow us, you two. That won't be the last of them. Like you would even question it at that moment. It's not far from here, but the way down collapsed behind us. We're gonna have to find another way out. Pistol to have. Uh, any shots? Is you don't pick up ammo automatically. You gotta actually go over to it, and pick it up. What I understand, even though there's loot and weapons and all that kind of stuff, this isn't a looter shooter. You'll find weapons that you like or buy them and then upgrade them. I don't have a melee weapon. Hopefully, by the time you guys see this as well, I should have just installed a new four, ter four terabyte uh, hard drive on this computer, which is direly needed.
dead would know they've lost. But they won't lay down without a fight. Oh, hello. Why do I have my pistol equipped? Yes, I know. Can you please clear up? Oh, jeez! Okay, you've obviously got to time your... your things just right. That area, that red weak point area is hard to hit, man. Oh. Got him. New material root ganglia. Trait point. Okay. Hey, you okay? Not bad shooting, Traveler. Yeah, I had some practice. I'll bet. But don't worry. Ward's as safe a place as any. Safer. So... It's really real. Food, and water, and... Folks living with some old white guy? <sighs> More or less. <coughs> whoa, whoa, let me get you some water. <sighs> Ooh, that looks like root rot. I've never seen a case this bad. I'm fine. I don't know why everyone... We need to get her to work. Real quick. <clears throat> Doctor, there's her only chance. We'd better get moving. Before we lose the light. This is an Unreal Engine 5 game, by the way. And it looks fantastic. No, I do not have it on Ultra. I couldn't run it on Ultra if I tried. gun. Oh, oh dear. This is Riggler. Call me Riggs. I got you, darling. <sighs> Don't worry, friend. We'll take good care of her. Welcome to War 13. Hey, don't worry. Riggs is right. She'll be fine. Are you okay? Just a headache. Hey, hey, Clementine. Uh, let me get you some water. I'm fine. Oh, you're not fine. You need rest. Oh. He's the ward's mayor. Thinks that puts him in charge of everything and everyone. Listen, I'm gonna check in with Ford, and then I'll get some rest, okay? I've been through a lot worse, you know. So, uh, right. Traveler, um, <clears throat> your friend will be fine. I'm Bo, Bo Ward, and this is Ward 13. He must have come a long way. I mean, the route's dwindling <coughs> and all, but the huh? road's still a dangerous place. What were you two doing out there? Yeah, well, you'll be safe here for as long as you need, Traveler. I didn't know anybody knew what we were doing out here. 
Feels kind of nice, actually. Hey, ask around if you need something. Oh, start with Ford. I'm sure he'd like to meet you. Okay. Now. Uh, you want to take a walk down on the shore or something? Inventory. What was this the thing? So beautiful. Crafting material. Okay. And I've got a trait point to spend. Which I want to put on school. Field cooldown, I think. Concoctions, armor, board, weapon upgrades, special weapons, board, weapons, oddities, all this, oh, archetypes and relic upgrade. Okay. Looking for Ford? He's up top in that warehouse over there. And that's where we're gonna go. This is not up for discussion, Clementine. You're staying, and that's final. I don't remember asking for your permission. Watch your tone, young lady. Excuse me? I'm 132 years old, in case you forgot. Uh, <clears throat> we'll talk about this later. Out of my way. Oh, I think I interrupted that. Damn. He's 132. Whoa, what have we here? I missed ah, something there. The traveler, of course. Wallace said yes. Uh, right on time. Sorry you had to see that. But then again, you've been around. I'm sure you know. Families fight. Andrew Ford. Good to make your acquaintance. In the flesh. I'm sure you've got a lot of questions, and I've got a favor to ask. So let's get to it. You first. Is that Michael Ironside? That's a longer story than I can indulge right now. Let's keep it to this. You know how some things you drink can make you drunk? And some things you eat can make you sick or sleepy. Well, other things do this. It's a big world out there. Huh. Huh. <laughs> Not my way. And you want to be careful what you wish for, traveler. Oh, nothing too dangerous. I've got to marshal my resources. And then we'll get into it in earnest. Ah, uh, not you precisely, as in name, rank, serial number. But I knew someone was coming. Our young Wallace told me. Wallace? He's a special kid. A lot like somebody I used to know. She had bad dreams, too. Dreams about things that hadn't yet come to pass. It's more like... He can see really far into the present. Sometimes. That makes no sense. Let me see if I can get you up to speed. Arguing's not the same as fighting. Clem and I have known each other longer than anyone else here. That's a lot of water to put under a narrow bridge. Looks can be deceiving. In fact, she's 132 years old. Not quite. Clementine spent a long time away, keeping strange company. Something like that will change you. Compared to who? <laughs> Bo might be young, but he knows the run of a ward. Learned from the best. He was orphaned, just a kid. Ward 13 sort of adopted him. Ran security when he got old enough. Did a damn good job of it. Only don't think there's a soul Oops. in town has Didn't lost as much as that. Riggs. Don't know how that man gets up out of bed every day. Want some intel, eh? Okay. All right, traveler. Now that you've shot your shot, here's mine. I need 
an able young scrapper to help an old man out. Talk to Wally. You'll find him out by the docks. After that, gear up, and then meet me at the ward gate. I'll tell you a story. Okay. Wally was out across the way, wasn't he? Like over here somewhere. I saw him on the map. Looking for Wallace. But uh, he's up there. Best view in town. I wonder if she's home yet. <clears throat> where's this guy? I think this is where we get the archetype. I see you, traveler. Uh, I see you You're too. You're the one Ford's been waiting for. Though, he doesn't know he's been waiting. He thinks he needs help. It's her who needs it. You know. And you don't. Sorry, I shouldn't say. Things get... messier when I tell them. I'm Wallace. Did I say that yet? Probably. The sight, you know? <laughs> Sorry, I probably said that already, too. You have a path to walk. You choose the first step here, but your path can change if you wanted to. Ah, archetypes. Yeah, that's what I thought. Okay, so I can be the medic, which I've tried. This is a cool class. Seems good for solo, and I like the fact that it's a machine gun. I want to try something different. The hunter is all about range damage. This is a melee dude. This is the handler with a dog. The handler is down, their companion will attempt to revive them. Nice. Okay, we're gonna go with the, the handler. Yep. That makes a lot of sense now. You're right, of course. Your path is waiting. Tell Brabus the cave I sent you. They have what you need. They're the next step on your journey. Until next time. It shows me the clothes I just got and put on. Now. I can upgrade all that as I want. Companion will follow the hunter and generate... 15% increased threat while attacking. All damage to them is reduced by 20. Uh, if I press the button once, engages the enemies near the targeted location. Double tap it, they return to, to me. And if I hold it, he howls, reduces damage by 15% to me and, and all allies, and generates additional threat. Okay. Revive them at 50%. Must have a relic charge, okay. We haven't been given that, I don't think, yet. Reduces friendly fire damage. I can actually hurt my own animal? That kind of sucks. Still got the same weapons, which I think these are about to be upgraded. And I want something fully automatic. <laughs> Rabus. Well, good for big game, but uh, well, ain't you a right mutter? Traipsing in here like you own the place. Well, he's pleasant. That boy what talks to the root? <laughs> I don't trust Wally with a hot meal. But I also ain't dumb enough to cross him. I don't reckon yeah. it was any more specific. Right. Well, the boy's crazy, but he ain't stupid. I can see your gear is, uh, 
lacking, to say the least. If he asks, you tell him I gave you this. Uh, no charge. Ah, Riggs is gonna take right. my ear off if I don't see Rock my AR-47. And a new handgun? Go see Riggs then. Tell him he can do whatever the hell he wants. And claws for melee, nice. Oh, it auto equipped him. Nice. Okay. Yeah, auto. Ooh, so is the pistol. Nice. I swear to God and my mother. Did Bo send you over here, or did you stumble your way over here yourself? Shit. You're serious, aren't you? All right, so what the hell is this journey? I swear, if that boy weren't so goddamn <laughs> right all the time, he and I'd be having words. Percussive ones. Fine. Well, the only reason anyone bothers me is because I'm good with a hammer. So either I can modify your weapons, or we can find a more creative use for it. Tell you what, I heard you picked up something strange on your little jaunt earlier. Maybe I could do something with it. Okay, so she crafts weapon mods, boss weapons, and armor. Okay. What we got here? Healing shot. Launches a payload that explodes on contact with allies. Healing their 35% of their max health. Lays dormant until they get close. Dormant payload lasts 30 seconds, slowly losing potency over time. Focus blast of air through all targets within 8 meters, dealing 155 damage and 4 times impact. Caltrops grenade that covers an area of 6 meters. 20 damage per second and apply slow. That's cool. Ooh. Hot shot. That's him on fire. Also applies. Yeah, we're gonna go with that one. Okay. That ought to help with whatever journey he saw you on. Just tell Wally to be more specific next time. Yeah. So we're done here, right? Or do I need the hammer again? It's a miracle. <sighs> Look, it's not personal. I just don't like being distracted. I get into a zone, you know? Pisses me off when people come by and interrupt my me time. But I'll tell you what. You're clearly not the average stray that shows up here. So I'll make you a deal. You find anything interesting out there, bring it back to me and I'll see if I can use it to mod your weapons. Okay? Oh, and if you tell anyone I was nice to you, I will cut you. <laughs> You're not crazy at all. Oh, friend. <laughs> Glad to see you're all right. What can I do for you? I know that That's guy's right. voice too. But everybody calls me Riggs. I try to keep folks safe out there. My specialty is armor and weapons upgrades. Speaking of which, Bo mentioned you might need some help getting your feet back onto you. Well, whatever you need, don't be afraid to ask. We all help each other out here. <laughs> Even McCabe. I don't suppose he was more particular about why. Ha, yeah, that sounds like Bradus. Right. Well, I've got a pretty focused skill set. I reckon I know what he means. Come to me if you ever need to upgrade your equipment. Okay. Upgrading is essential to keep it increasingly difficult. Let's upgrade the gun. I'm going to be using that more than anything else. Alright, we'll find Ford. He's over. Wait a sec. What's with this? I have the... Oh, I can't get over here yet. Okay. I do know a nice, interesting little secret. This guy gives you a uh, a flashlight that you can use. 
And there's a code on the bottom of it for the safe in his room. You get some really good gear out of it. Geared up and ready. Should we head out? Or, uh, is there something you wanted to do first? No, let's go. Right. Get let's into the see action. What dangers still lurk in the old ward. Just crank the handle to make it work. This used to be a research facility, cutting edge. We did things down here nobody dreamed of. Can I Not put the before door? nor since. Yet, yeah, for all our manpower, yeah. we didn't know there you what go. stones really were. Until it was too late. Stones? <laughs> the world stones. Giant red crystals that let us see into other worlds. Even travel to them. So, what? We just hide the stones away and hope the Soviets haven't found their own. <laughs> no. We had to know everything there was <coughs> to know about them. <laughs> it was a matter of national security. Of pride. So? Sounds familiar. Yeah. We opened the door. And walked through. And something was waiting on the other side. It didn't happen right away. Hell, the inhabitants of the worlds we traveled to couldn't follow us. We thought we were safe. But yeah, the route found a way. After that, well, huh. we locked, huh? Well, this is my house. Come on. I gave Helen a few things to hang on to. In case of emergency. Uh, she must have hidden it around here somewhere. I don't know if I'm actually going to do a full playthrough it. about this, folks. Let me know if that's something you'd be interested in seeing in the comments. Quest item match that red thing. We call it a dragon heart. <laughs> Don't ask why. Take it with you. You might need it. Doesn't tell me what it does, though. Come on. There you are. Hurry up. <laughs> oh. Right. Something to keep in mind. This is how I found it out too. You have to use things, hey, but you can expect things. I got a hunt. Let's get this door unlocked. Can't stand around all day. Is that the... The world stone. Yes. Or part of it anyway. Every shard's as useful as the whole. We shut it down after Harsgard died. Like I told Ellen at the time. The damn thing's more dangerous than useful. Huh. Of course not. Uh, never mind. Now, let's see if that worked. Work to do what, exactly?
Go back. Tell Bo to bury this place. Not just lock it away, but get some explosives and bury it in a tomb of concrete. More dangerous than useful, Traveler. Remember that. Ford? Ford! Ford! Oh, man. Bo is gonna be pissed. Did it? He actually woke it up. Clementine? Hey. Did he tell you how to use it? Do I even want to? System failure is imminent. The core has been compromised. The utility is required. Commencing acquisition. Ah! Help! Clementine! <laughs> Don't let go! You do it. Oh, this is so stupid. <laughs> For all he knew, that they could have been just disintegrated and dead. Would make for a fun game, though, would it? All right. Okay. This is a fantastic looking game, folks. Lord! Shit. Where are you guys? I like this. Uh, it's all materials. Uh, this is all insane. Both the crystal and four. Uh, I better get moving if I'm going to find Clementine. <laughs> Those foreign to the pound have not been seen upon Yesha for long, long. The past one stakes me. Or is it now simply part of what I am? He's good on it's that been stuff. so long. The difference <laughs> hardly matters. But the box attack, how comes it here to Yesha? seen them in my restless slumber. The pestilence think of them often, especially the stones of the Baxotex earth. I am Bidel of the Vaunt. When this world was young, the pan did service to the green and growing things. Now, the pan betrays the world, and the world, the wolf. Betrays the pan. The ravager, plague of the pan and defiler of the dough. The wolf hunts all, yet is itself unhunted. To the shame of all pan. Once part of the balance, the immortal ravager has cast aside this world and pledged fealty to the pestilence that would destroy all worlds. And the red doe, that which held the Ravager in check for long and long, has not been seen in an age. If it seeks to save its own life and world, the Paxotec must hurt the beast is not alone. The lame here have given themselves to it in service. Once servants of the Eternal Empress, many lame here have been seduced by the Ravager's blood-soaked tongue, and thus... Betrayed the ban. Beware, Baxotak. They will huh? fight until the beast's final breath. <laughs> More than it can imagine, Baxotak. May the red door guide it to a mossy glade. Hey.
Imagine we're gonna get into some combat now, folks. Look at this, though. This isn't set on, on ultra graphics or anything. I think it's mostly set to medium. And FSR 2, or DLSS, pardon me. But it is an Unreal Engine game using the Nanite and Lumen tech. Like, this is, this is dope. All this detail running well? Okay. Let's see what we got here. Guardian's Ring. Oh yeah, here, this is what I was going to show you guys. You can inspect all the items in the game. So when I was doing this, when I first loaded into it, I noticed this. Here it is. 0415. I just decided to try it on a whim on that chest that we saw in, in Ford's office when I went back and you get some good gear out of it. Oh. Actually, attack this. Thought with the fact that there were lights here, why not? That might be a. This isn't looking good. Oh, hello. Oh, he does some decent damage. Skill, damn it. Thank you. Get up. Whoa. There we go. Something blew up there. We gotta go get that. I'm pretty sure that's a trait point. Now the way this game works is that once you've finished out a level, knowledge. once you've completely finished out a level, you can get what's called adventure mode, which allows you to re-roll it and it sets it up in a newly procedural generated layout. Which is cool, it gives it added replayability. Okay. Doesn't need to keep telling me to use that. Check them out. Amen. Let's go over this way. Okay. Jeez!
It's weird that this one guy teleported over here. Melee critical chance. Okay, that's something I guess we can add on later on. Dog can take a beating. Like he's hardly getting any damage. Granted, this is tier one area. Oh, I thought this was a secret. I actually thought that there would be a, a chest up here. Okay. He attacking. I thought it said that healed me. I must uh, must need to upgrade it more. Checkpoint. This is a secret, isn't it? Yep, it actually is. What we got here? For our pellet? Adds one stack of bulwark within 15 minutes of an enemy. Increases to two stacks after taking... for 15 seconds after taking melee damage. Okay. What is this? Consumable. Ah! Restore ten percent of max health instantly. Nice. Okay. Uh, let's go this way. Wonder if I'm gonna get attacked by that for taking its pellets. All right, come and get some. This gun ain't too shabby. Yes, you can go through the windows, okay. Oh, 
go up there and see what's up. Last spot we have to check over here. I can't not check everything out on a map when I play a game like this. Continue on to the unexplored area of the map, and I'm going to heal. Ah, that's all it healed, okay. I wonder if I should have gone with the, uh, the medic. Making sure that wasn't secret entrance. Gonna rest at the checkpoint, get my ammo back. Oh, continue on, here we go. I just realized that this has been 55 minutes. I'm going to edit this down a bit. So it's not quite so long. Got to at least get to a boss battle or something. Proper one. <laughs> I think... Yeah, we've got to explore a full a full map. These maps are pretty ginormous, folks. So we're going to go back to the previous checkpoint. And now that I've left the level and come back, enemies that were there will all spawn back. Same thing when you... Uh, same thing when you um, rest. Anytime you rest. Pretty sweet. Look at this. Great. More bad news. <laughs> Get that. Yeah, this is a good looking game. There is no doubt about it. Okay, we're going to go back over here. We're going to rest. We did have a boss battle. We fought a few minor minions or whatnot. This is a very starting area of the game. That first part was uh, like obviously the tutorial, but it has been a full hour for this episode, so we will leave it there. Let me know what you think about this game, folks. Uh, did you enjoy it? Do you find it intriguing enough to want to see me play more of it in a full playthrough or not? I genuinely do want to know. Let me know your thoughts in the comments overall. Give me a thumbs up if you liked it, thumbs down if not. Subscribe if you're new to help me grow the channel. And until next time, and if you enjoy... Uh, Really good looking games like I do. You'll join me again, and until that time, I've been Rage at Games. Bye bye.